Ooh, yeah, G-Tech, she's the name. G-Tech Hoover, 22 volt, yeah? Air Ram. Um, it weren't working, the, the spinny, brushy thingy weren't spinning round in here, blah, 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 blah. All the Hoover and everything worked fine, so I was like thinking what could be wrong with it. Um, stripped it. Yeah, it's got some real nice pieces that attach into the motor, so we've got like metal pinions and, and gears and diffs and all the rest of it. But then we've got one plastic one, and this is the one that was shredded right about here it goes. Here it goes, uh, and it spins around, but it was shredded, so non-usable. Why have they used a really cheap part, yeah, in this Uva, um, when they've got loads of like metal, yeah, metal, on plastic, it's just like obvious, if you've got a metal gear connected to a plastic one, it's just gonna strip it. And that's what it's done. So g -Tech is a stripper. Yeah, this particular model, let's have a look, what we got it. g -Tech, 22 volt, 100 watt, um, Air Ram series. Yeah, there you go, Air Ram's technology, um, DM001. So there you go. If you got that Hoover and it's not working as it should, you know what your problem is, yeah? There it is, the culprit. How to fix it? Well, it's easy enough to put it all back together if you can be bothered. Uh, I've not looked for a spare part. I doubt they do one. Nowadays, though, with the technology of 3D printing, if you can get some sort of blueprint from them, which I doubt, then you could print one yourself, couldn't you? Another plastic one. Wouldn't that be good? Sheesh! Yeah, Dad, I thought you'd appreciate this. Um, this is out of the Hoover that you were tucking away. Uh, the motor, motor and its pinion and that goes in here. In this end is the band, so it's a band-driven one. Uh, we've got this... Uh, don't know, would you call that the drive shaft? I'm not sure, but this is, I guess, the gearbox or the differential. Um, but yeah, it's this that's stripped. They've got all nice metal gears everywhere, like metal pinions and that. But then for this, for some strange reason, they've used a plastic one. And it's like, it's a Hoover. I don't know. Why have they used a plastic one? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's the same as the, the cars, isn't it, mate? Like, they run off, you know, we change it for metal. Yeah, and we know, they, yeah, because it's better. And this is, yeah. Yeah, it's just cheap rubbish, isn't it? They've got bearings in it and everything. But it's plastic there. And that's what, that's why it won't work in. So, yeah. Do they make replacement parts? Who knows? I very much doubt it because of the world we live in. You Could we be, maybe... You might be able to use one from the skates. Bearing. Yeah, it's not the bearing, mate. It's this plastic thing here. You see, yeah, it should have loads. Bearing, right? of, that's not a bearing. Mm. It looks like a bearing because it's so worn off. That should have loads of teeth on it. Oh. You can still see a couple of the teeth oh, that like it's the got. Plastic cogs sometimes. Yeah, the cog. Yeah. You're so, you get a mix of metal and plastic in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't really. You should just all use metal. It's just gonna yeah. be better. 